It's already hot summer here in Qatar and not the ideal time to enjoy the outdoors. So the next best option to enjoy time with family is long drive. Going for a long drive with friends or families during weekends is always really fun and we learn to enjoy the journey more than the destination. The unique landmarks that you are seeing right now are the iconic World Cup stadiums. We are eagerly and excitedly waiting for FIFA Qatar 2022. As my kids and husband are back in routine with their work and class, I am also back in my studio with some exciting works in progress. This one that I am working is for a prototype, for a custom order and I am preparing some exciting flowers. This was a really new work for me and I had lots of experiments to be done. And I like this portion to explore and experiment with this material and all the time I get some new and fun results and each time it's a learning experience. Organic formations are my favorite. So this time I'm trying to create some uh, forms with the metal wires and trying to experiment with a wooden base. I often get asked about the techniques that I follow but frankly I do not stick on to one particular technique. I often experiment with all the materials available. I might have an initial plan or sketch or some inspiration behind each of the work by, but mostly I prefer to let loose and just go with the flow with most of the experiments and that's the most exciting part I believe because the end result will always be a surprise. Monday morning and I have a meeting at Festival City. Let's go there. 70% of the time I don't get to meet or interact with my clients or art collectors. Since I work through online galleries, all my clients are outside Qatar and uh, I don't even know where my artworks are going. So whenever I get the time to interact with the clients, I just grab the chance. That's how I get to learn about the client and their expectations too. The ideas after our meeting is still in design phase. And getting back to work also means packing all these orders which were due for shipment. And this is the most rewarding part for me packing and dispatching these orders to its forever home. In my previous video, I had mentioned about my plan to create a small collection of five artworks with a miniature dimension of around 15 cm. And that took form beautifully. I created few uh, artworks with floral organic petal formations and with bright spring vibes. I had been getting wonderful feedback for the color choices and I too was pretty happy with the results. And this shade would be my favorite from the lot. And guess what? This was even selected to be in a collection called Best of April uh, in Saatchi Art by their leading curators and I'm so excited and thankful for that. While I was moving to the final stage of photographing and documenting that uh, spring collection, something else was also in the making. This is part of a uh, new artwork in progress which will be exhibited at Doha Festival City for an upcoming event. And uh, yeah, this is part of a collection. Most of you might be knowing how I like to work on multiple artworks. Uh, which will be progressing in various stages and I had mentioned earlier that every month I will be accepting a couple of custom orders for Kata Souvenir artworks and this month I had a couple more artworks so I made up to five souvenir artworks which were all personalized with few additions of uh, interesting landmarks or you know custom requirements and color schemes according to their choices so i was working on a smaller artwork and a slightly bigger one 
and all these were of short notice and i had to complete it in specific timeline because people were traveling these artworks were usually ordered by expats who were staying in qatar for some time and now decided to go back home or will be ordered as gift for somebody who was leaving the country for good i might have done 500s of these souvenir artworks in various sizes dimensions styles uh color variations but i still enjoy doing this and accept these orders because i know along with these artworks people will be taking back home tons of memories and dreams and experiences along with them so it's kind of an emotional piece of work and because of this emotional value i take this as my honor or privilege to be able to create such thoughtful gifts for people or expats leaving the country for good this is me working late night on this last minute order i had completed the artwork and has come back from the framer but had to add some final touches or details on these landmarks and also had to sign it it has turned out beautifully i have painted this on perspex and all the paints uh, are glass paints and i have used the glass liners to add these details and after the framing and signing i had to pack it quickly so the client will be able to collect that and i could jump right into next project i had been wanting to create some artwork inspired by the green wall art so i had been procrastinating since a long time and i thought this is a perfect time to give it a go because there is a contest happening uh, it was organized by fire station art gallery and they had um, called out artists to create artworks out of plastics and i thought i'll give it a go and participate in that and sticking on to the theme of greenery and um, some vegetations inspired by the usual things that we see here in Qatar and the limited succulents or cacti i thought of creating a large artwork with many organic forms inspired by the structures and patterns that we see here i don't know all these are my interpretation and somehow i get to play with these discarded plastics for me that is the mandatory part to enjoy the process of creating initially i made plans to capture the progress of this artwork how i made all these textures and things like that frankly it is so distracting to keep camera on next to you while creating i think i'm still getting used to that process and not just that i get conscious most of the time when i need to be in front of the camera so for this time i thought i'll keep that thought aside and just switch on the camera in time lapse mode and record it so that's me in my daily wear as usual doing the uh, artwork and enjoying the process so all these forms uh, small textures have been already made and now this at this stage i have uh, formed it into some shapes some organic shapes and these will be assembled onto the background uh, usually i use wood or canvas for this particular project i have uh, decided to use a 120 by 100 cm stretch canvas and this is almost half of the stage it took more than a week uh, to reach at this stage If you have seen some of my previous videos you might be knowing these orange flowers were part of a previous installation which I had done uh, as part of Agritech 2022 where I was representing at Qatar Museum uh, pavilion and uh, these were part of that Eden Bloom installation and now I have decided to add those into this artwork and this was kind of uh close up a few of the textures while assembling them 
as i told earlier i work really spontaneously and most of these texture additions were my spontaneous decisions but i am really happy with this whole artwork hope you enjoyed it too